Hello. Um, I've always said that I don't believe in censorship, so therefore I'm not going to remove things that people write uh, underneath these videos. Um, but I am, I am prepared to challenge some of them, both in writing and by making uh, extra videos myself. This is one of them. Uh, so when we're looking at the attack on the maternity hospital in Mariupol, uh, if we look at the things which have been, the propaganda which has been put out by uh, Komsolenskaya Pravda and Rossiyaskaya Gazeta, these are both government-funded um, uh, media outposts in uh, Russia, uh, funded, by the Premlin, funded by the Kremlin and churning out propaganda by the minute. They claimed that um, this hospital was housing uh, the Azov Battalion and had been doing so for some time. Now, the Azov Battalion is run, or at least was run uh, a short while ago, by Andrei, Andrei Bilitsky, um, who is somebody from Kharkiv, um, and he, he's really picked up the mantle of a rather foul ultra-nationalist called Bandera. Now, Bandera, uh, on the one hand, of course, he was championing uh, Ukrainian nationalism at the end or during the, World, the Second World War and fighting the Soviets. But on the other hand, he was also fighting the Poles and he was an extraordinary anti-Semite. Now, there is a band of far-right ultra-nationalism that continues to this day in Ukraine. It's that bit, which is actually very small, um, which President Putin is claiming is Nazi. And that is his excuse. Uh, and that's why we keep hearing the denazification of Ukraine. Bandera was in many ways sympathetic to the Nazi ideals and he was attacking Poland, he was attacking uh, Russia. Um, Bandera is a false friend if we're looking for um, uh, the defence of Ukraine. And Andrei Bilecki, well, he left Parliament in 2019. He is a no person. So for Putin to be talking about this neo-Nazi movement, which, as I say, it still exists as far as I know, but he doesn't have very much power, and it certainly isn't enough of an excuse for an attack on an entire country. So this is one of the pieces of propaganda which has been peddled by the Kremlin propaganda machine. Uh, I think it's challenged by the photographs which were taken at the time by Yevgeny uh, Maloletka, um, by the story of Mariana uh, Pod. Gorskaya, um, who was a, um, who is a Ukrainian uh, influencer and podcaster, and she had a baby there in that hospital, which was bombed. In fact, she had her baby just shortly after the bomb, I believe. Uh, the Russian propaganda says all this was staged. But what gives the lie? What gives the lie to um, all this Russian rubbish? is the fact that initially uh, Igor uh, Konoshenkov, another Russian uh, propagandist, said that the attack on the hospital was a staged bomb by Ukrainians. You can't have it both ways, Kremlin people. You can't have it both ways. And you can't then come onto uh, YouTube and, and, and comment on my site as if you know what you're talking about. So the Kremlin cannot say, on the one hand, this bomb was a staged event by Ukrainians, and then when that propaganda doesn't work, say, ah ha ha, no, 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 it was a legitimate attack because we know that this hospital was housing the Azov Battalion. It's either one or the other. So when people are peddling lies and they try one lie after another, we know it's not true. The Kremlin is caught in its own web of deceit, and it's not very good at it at the moment. So please do keep leaving your comments. I'm really interested in them. If you're going to peddle uh, this sort of propaganda, I will respond. I won't remove anything. Please leave your comments.
Please follow my channel. Please ring the bell. Bye-bye.